Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. We're at BT Sustainability Festival at Industrial Park. Now I'm delighted to be joined by Katie McGinty, Vice President and Chief Sustainability Officer at Johnson Controls. So Katie, can you tell us more about the partnership you just announced with BT? It's a wonderful partnership with two companies, BT and Johnson Controls, who have some of the keys to unlock the efficiency and performance of buildings and that's important because right now, buildings are fully 40% of global greenhouse gas emissions. And our partnership will put data to work to make those buildings super efficient. What type of data will you be looking at and how tricky is it to gather it? You know, buildings are the sector in our economy least penetrated by data. So when you have the operating systems of the building, the big HVAC machine, even if it's efficient, it's not talking to the security system or to the lighting. That's the data, the intelligence to say, hey, there's no one on the fourth floor of the building, so stop burning and blowing all that air up here. Or it's the data and the intelligence that can connect that building smartly to the grid and when there's extra energy or a price spike in energy, the building can sell that electricity back to the grid. That's the data that we're gonna be able to harness and put to work for sustainability and companies' bottom lines. And obviously Johnson Controls is a global company. Are you working with other operators as well? We are, we're working across every sector either with telecom players as customers of ours, um, or in this case with BT, it really is a very special partnership. Johnson Controls is unique in that for 140 years, we've been building the operating systems of a building, but we've added an end-to-end -end open architecture digital platform we call Open Blue. So for the first time, we could start to collect and put data to work. BT is critical though, because you gotta be able to get the data to the platform, from the platform to the cloud in a secure fashion. And BT is best in the business of secure, smart, interconnected networks. That's the powerful combination we have. How can your offerings make buildings more energy efficient? Well, in a couple of ways. First, when you have uh, systems in the building that are getting a little old, ripping those systems out and putting new systems in almost without fail can save you about 30% on your energy and your carbon emissions. But you can go a step further because we're now in a position fully to electrify buildings. So you don't have to burn fossil fuels on site for space heating or water heating or process heat. Instead, we make a line of equipment called heat pumps that just grabs the energy from the air or from the land or water and puts that to productive use in order to achieve that space or water or process heating need. And the third really big revolution in buildings and their optimization is our ability now to grab data through secure networks on our open blue digital platform and have actionable intelligence to fully optimize the functioning of that building makes the building healthier for occupants we spend 90 percent of our lives indoors so not only are you cutting energy cutting carbon but you're using sensors that ensure that the air is healthy and clean and a productive place for us to live, work, and play. Obviously, different buildings require different types of solutions. How do you tackle this? Well, the good news is that those basic building blocks can apply to the broad variety of buildings, driving efficiency, switching to electrification, and then driving performance with data and with digital. Whether the building is old or new, 
that trifecta works, whether the building is your home or it's a school or a university, a hospital, or even if it's a factory, it's a big food and beverage company, it's a manufacturer, it's a warehouse. Those three steps of efficiency, electrification, and digitalization will dramatically improve not only your environmental footprint, but your bottom line. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you, it's a joy to be here.